Okay, so this is the Surge. Uh, I just bought this on the summer sale. And I've been wanting it for a while. So I would check it out. Uh, I've got options set where I want to, and I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. And we'll see where it goes from there. This is like a uh, cyberpunk Dark Souls, from what I understand. Sounds really fun. Got a cat going in the background. She just won't shut up. She's real angry about a lot of stuff. It's up to all of us to sow those seeds, and it's up to us to nurture them towards growth. Creo is not just another company. With Project Resolve, we are building the path to the future. Follow us into a new era, a utopia for all mankind. With every launch, we're healing our planet, restoring its natural shield. A return to the green world we remember, where our children can once more play in the sun. So this looks like a uh, company propaganda video. But it's people too. We've all Pretty cool so far. I like it. Now Creo is making it a reality. Together, we're strong. Let's look at the technology. Together, it's very realistic. Exoskeletons. Unleash your potential with us. Nice opening cinematic. Welcome. I know you're glad to be here. I am, and I'm glad to see you. Creo, you know who we are, or at least you think you do. Everywhere you turn, we're there. Oh, cool. You see us or not. So it reminds me of uh. It's time to take a closer look. So it reminds me of the first Half Life. Oh, yeah. Can't move around. Industrial products. But oh, I see. A little tutorial That's here on the back of this bench. Mouse, the trio were always reaching for the stars. We've always had our eyes on the big picture. Work in the third world, valuable minds in the city education initiative, and of course, programs like Project Resolve that benefit us all. Creo not only wants to change the world, Project Resolve, we aim to save it. There's no divide here. Can't move around. But I can look around. Welcome to your new life as part of the Creo family. Exosuit area. Final stop. Russo Station. Exit to the oh, right. I think I've been given control here. Oh, hey, I'm in a wheelchair. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, this is, um, whichever way the, the direction is based on whichever way the camera faces, which is a little awkward, maybe, but I think I'll get used to that pretty easily. I am using a mouse and keyboard, by the way, for anybody interested. Uh, that's a curtain. I can't go through this gap that's clearly big enough for my wheelchair. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Okay, never mind. Welcome to Creo. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm using a mouse and keyboard. Not a controller. I might try it with a controller later. This runs really good so far. Hey, sorry, uh, I'm new around here, so where should I go? Please proceed to job registration. This station will be closing soon. Sure. All right. Lighting is nice. Let's see if the dialogue's the same. Job registration. Well, 
more or less. No actions other than move so far. Cool character model. This guy's jeans. I mean, he looks like he really looks like he belongs in a wheelchair. So that sounds kind of awkward, I guess. But his his posture is very much a wheelchair posture. He cannot use his legs. You can see the way they're sitting. His feet are sort of crossed. It's very natural looking. I like that. Probably can't go upstairs because I'm in a wheelchair. What's on his shirt? Iron Mouse. <laughs> cool. Imagine that's probably where I have to go. Let's look around a little bit. Nice reflections, I like that. So you will just roll down this hill. I'm not controlling that at all. Pretty good at stopping. In the right tool for the right job and the right person to wield it. This is a model of the facility, it looks like. Pretty nice. Let's go where we're not supposed to first. I always like to do that. New, huh? Job registration is over there. Yeah, well, nobody's being a total jerk yet, so that's nice. Now, so far, this is a very Half-Life style opening. This is a you walk into a facility from a train, follow the arrows, talk to some folks, feel at home, and shit goes bad. That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. Please choose from our two currently available positions and form an orderly queue. Rhino and Lynx. You will receive your personal work gear voucher after registration. Heavy operator. So these are exoskeletons, I guess. I wonder if those are choices I have to make. Do I get one of these? Field technician versus heavy operator. Oh, I see. I choose one now. Hmm, I feel like maybe I like the idea of the heavy operator. If you believe you can move mountains, Creo has the job for you. Because as a heavy operator, you can literally do that. Pure power, <laughs> relentless performance. Can literally move Nothing mountains. can hold you back. Are you ready? Then join us as a heavy operator and save tomorrow today. Okay, again, a little propaganda spiel. Let's see what the other one has to say, just out of curiosity. I do think I want to be the heavy operator. I like the idea of heavy armor. If you guys watched any of my Dark Souls videos, I'm always a knight. I like the heavy armor. If you like living life in the fast lane, Creo provides you with the highway to success as a field technician. Light. Versatile. State of the art. This one does Gear look cool, though. and save tomorrow today. Save tomorrow today. Okay, let's go back. Push it to the limits and beyond. Be strong. Be relentless. Be a heavy operator. Big jobs made small. All right, let's do it. Rig 
installation program running. Program complete. Patient sedated. Initiating surgery. Oh man. It's not good, I'm not sedated at all. Oh. Just turned into a quake where they turn you into a strog, I guess. Link. All right, cool beginning. I like that. Nice interactive. Give you a little tutorial. You can walk now. Hey, that's cool. The weird thing is, it's totally natural to me. I, I, I don't imagine it would feel that way. All oh, right, okay. Dark Souls, right there. Vital injection plant to heal. Looks like maybe health. Health would be the red bar. Energy. Stamina maybe is the yellow bar. Blue would be the equivalent of mana, whatever that is. It's like, uh... Both left and right clicks attack. That is definitely stamina. Recovers pretty quickly. It's a light attack. It's a heavy attack. Okay. I'm not going to heal just yet. I want to see what happens here. Man, this run's really good. And it's weird because it's it's um, system requirements are not low. Manual disassembly required. Little mouse to lock the target. I don't think I want to do target locking. Not yet, anyway. Now oh, horizontal and vertical. Seems awfully spry for a guy that just got a bunch of holes drilled in him with no anesthesia. Space is dodge, not jump. Okay, that's fine. Oh my gosh, that's like a lot of health. What a cool environment. Alright, I feel like I just got lucky that with that fight. Defeat enemies to gain tech scrap. So that implies crafting, perhaps. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It seems like I've read about being able to craft in this. Earth doesn't need resolve. Oh man, I 
really like the mouse and keyboard feel is really good here. I'm not sure if I like the middle mouse for locking on. Q for blocking. Okay. Oh, here. What's this? Force regulator, pneumatic helix. All right. Q to block. Blocking takes stamina too. Makes sense. These big struts holding this building up. That's pretty wild. Stay away. I wonder if this is saying too big an area for me right now. Alright, let's maybe go check this one first. I wonder if there's any kind of manual saving. No. Yeah. Cool. Like that. Yeah, you don't need to lock on. Just follow them around, at least so far. New implant acquired. Backpack. Oh, okay. Like this, I get to build my own suit. Hmm. This is a bit like a Dark Souls ish bar, stat bar. It's a little simpler. So it looks like uh, experience here, power upgrade, power consumption, okay, tech scrap, 105. And implant in their slot, okay, so then we've got medical unit, displays any health gauges. feel like I need to do that yet. Do not talk to them, they won't answer. So I feel like this is supposed to be a little bit cryptic, but it doesn't really feel that way. It feels like this is a place being taken over by robotic life, <laughs> and that's not okay. Medbay. wonder if these are save points like bonfires. Bank my tech scrap. Must be like uh, souls, I guess. Change my defective power core. Not there, I guess. Kind of nice that there's no mini map. Don't talk to them, they won't answer, right? Triggered. You need to get back into the factory. 
No dialogue. I don't know you. I'm surrounded by dead people here. Maybe someone would like to explain what's going on. I'm sorry, I don't know. You need to get inside. Maybe you can make something to protect yourself. Operations always has a gear assembly. The rig seems to work for me. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. Huh. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Well, that's good to hear, but the power core is damaged. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. Well, okay. I'll just stroll right on over to the factory then. I certainly don't recommend walking, but there should be a maglev station nearby. They're never far from ops. On my way. Be careful. And don't sure. forget to replace the power core of your rig or you're not gonna get very far. I mean, I guess what choice do I have, right? I don't know anyone here. But I feel like this is all a little bit kind of railroady. Oh, look at that now. Well, if that's not a boss, I don't know what it is. I don't really want to fight that. now anyway ah oh, shit can't go back oh, okay Shouldn't can't you be at your designated work site okay i'm going to go back here oh response yeah that is that's like a bonfire oh okay definitely need to get used to blocking but I think I could probably use this to farm equipment, learn combat. Okay. No double tap to dodge, it's all spacebar. I do like his character model. Sort of like a cross between a Warhammer Space Marine there with his implants in his head and his arms. His movement seems a little bit wooden, but maybe that's by design, being as he's now attached to this mechanical exosuit. I'm gonna go into this area. Stay away. Okay, alright, he's shooting at me. Oh, crap. Okay, so that was a bad idea. Can't block those. So maybe for now... For now, what I need to do is follow the rails and I can come back. Hopefully this is all somewhat cyclical. Yeah, okay. I know. I don't know if I can reach it from here. I'm not going to worry about it. It's like a very small amount right now. Pick it all up from here.
Let's go get this one too. Shadows are nice. And I really want to go in there. All right, let's let's follow the rails for now. Get the first quest out of the way. Maybe we can come back, get a little bit stronger. For now. Let's see what gear assembly does. Can't do anything without the power core. All right. Look out for your fellow workers. They look out for you. And that is another suit down there. the uh, distortion, like the heat waves, or maybe not, maybe it was, yeah, yeah. maybe that was a defect, visual defect. Okay, can't just block through an attack, you actually have to finish an animation, which I'm not real happy about. scrap that I dropped. Okay, so yeah, reacquired souls, essentially. So he's pretty vulnerable. This takes a lot of damage. It's an area I have to come back to. This looks like a conveyor belt. It's a lift I can use, but I want to go back here first. I locked on the wheel up and down to target body parts. Target wing points. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. parts to do more damage. Left arm. So I wonder if you... I've heard that you can actually target um, specific areas to salvage equipment from enemies in this game, which sounds interesting to me. I like to check that. Man, I can't get over how good this runs. It's so smooth. I can't tell what my frame count is because my recording overlay sits right on top of it, but... Heal. 
few up. Okay, so we got, oh, we got a power core. Cool. Turn to the med bay. Oh, okay. Accessibility to areas is based on your power. That's pretty cool. Pile of general, oh, rare material. General gameplay piles of text graphics can be consumed with him in the inventory to instantly provide you with new text graphics. Okay, so let's see how that works. Ah, okay. So that's a that's a soul, like a large soul item, I guess. Thirteen hundred thirty-five. Awesome. Well, I do like this. Do you require um, assistance, Warren? No, we're already here about a half an hour into the video, so let's let's start up the power core. Let's put the new power core in, and uh, maybe I'll call it good for now. Do another video later. Space to increase the power core. Ah. Power zero three ninety five. Ten health, cool. Yeah, all right. Well, connection to database restored. Checking database. Gear voucher detected. All right. Well, uh, pretty cool so far. I really like how it plays. Uh, very Dark Souls like. It's a uh, very early on. Feels a lot like the original Half Life. Um, like the characters. Game runs fantastically. Nice environments. Combat's gonna be fun. Kind of some brutal combat. Neat visuals. I like it so far. Hopefully I'll get more videos of this up. Uh, I plan on diving into this pretty soon, actually. So, uh, for now, I think I'm gonna call it good, though. Because, uh, as I said earlier, we're, we're now 35 minutes into the video. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a great one.